and we're back. Hopefully, hopefully this works this time. This is Sunless Sea. I'm gonna be giving away a few copies of the game. I have not played this. This is something that was recommended to me a few times, and I, I checked it out. Looked cool. Managed to get a few keys for the community and myself, because that's how I do. And hopefully, it's not poopy. I hear it's very text-heavy, but it's it's also very Lovecraftian. And I love Lovecraftian. Love, love, Lovecraftian. But yeah, it's it's very text heavy, so I may not love it. I may not like it at all. We'll see. Alright, I already hate it. <laughs> now, okay, let's see. Three decades ago, in the reign of Victoria, London was stolen by bats. What? Now it lies a mile below the surface. Wait, wait, what do you mean London? again. That's cool. Okay, I think I'm back. I just went down on Twitch. Some quality stuff is happening. Alright. So... Let's see. Three decades ago in the reign of Victoria, London was stolen by bats. Now it lies a mile below the surface. It was dreadfully inconvenient for everyone, but it opened a vast black ocean to you. Welcome to the Untersee. Choose a past. Decide who you were and what you want to be. You now lodge in a room above the blind helmsman. Who were you? I was... A street urchin. Your street urchin gang cast you out and you grew too tall. You took to the sea rather than graduate to... It's happening again. There's nothing I can do. I've isolated the problem and I'm sorry. You, you guys, if, if Twitch goes down, you might have to just pop out the YouTube stream and watch that. So. Sorry, guys. If, if Twitch is shitting itself, there's nothing I can do about that. It's not on my end. Um, poet? Let's see. Educator. Articulate. We seek sensation at sea. I'm gonna be a street urchin. Almost was poet. Low cunning on the high seas. Your friend and other Longshanks knows little, a little of gunnery. Only a little help, but she can help. Only a little, but she can help talk to her and find out why she went to Z. Oh my god, what is happening? What does winning mean to you? Your father's bones? Your father was lost at Z. Why is it spelled Z? It's bo it's... Mm, yeah. You never knew him, but you've often dreamed of him. Find and return his remains to London. Fulfillment, wealth, or a private kingdom. Oh, I can't. It's locked. I want a kingdom. Um. Excuse me. Gather a hundred tales. Learn all you can. Write a masterpiece. Retire. Fine. Fulfillment. Captain. In a regularity with the harbor master's office. They wish to know what term of address do you prefer ashore? Of course, Captain. Because of Captain Jean Luc Picard. Choose your name. Crumbump. Captain Crumbump. And I'm going to... Come on, how cool is that? Fallen London. Deep, dark, and marvelous. All voyage starts here, and this is where successful voyages end. London. She's the greatest city on the undersea. 
What is this game? What the hell am I playing right now? I have no idea what I'm looking at. Visit the survey office. They'll pay information from Z captains. I'm not dropping any frames, by the way. Okay. Alright, I will be trying... I'm going to try something. I'm going to... I'm going to stop the stream and see if I can fix this. Be right back. Okay, let's see if this works. Let me know if this is stable. This is just Twitch now. Might be restream.io that's causing the problem. My rehost thing has been stable for months. So it's weird that it just now starts not working. So let's let's hope this works. Maybe it was just restream.io. That's a shame. Even though YouTube was working, now it's not. I really don't care. Alright, so London. We're gonna visit the survey office. They'll pay for information. Um oh man. There's a lot of reading in this game. My god, you were right. You were 100% correct. Fuel. Food and equipment. Okay, so I have a boat. Food and supplies. This is not an easy game to jump into, huh? Ask her what she wants from life. My god. You know, I would want to understand the game first. And then, you know, kind of like start reading and getting into the story. Because right now I have no investment in any of this. And I need to be able to understand what I'm doing first. So that's what I'm going to try to do. That's what I'm going to try to do. Um, <laughs> well. Alex, uh, that is incorrect. I am not doubling the bandwidth required. I am streaming to a buffer site that then splits the bandwidth itself. I don't stream to two places at once. I stream to one, and then that place streams to the other. So I'm only on Twitch now because the past two days that site has been having problems. Alright, so... What can we... What do, what do you need? Um, retrieve strategic information from Guider's Morn. Corset, Corsair's Forest, somewhere not far from the home waters. Okay. Um, can someone advice for captains on endings and beginnings? On this is all tutorial stuff. Oh man. Captains often die. This is not the end. When you die, you learn lessons. On exploration, exploration is the heart of the game. Risk brings reward. Staying close to London is safe, but eventually you'll run out of fuel and supplies. Exploring and playing port stories will allow you to find secrets and echoes. Um, so how do you explore? Because I, I want to I wanna see some gameplay. I know there's a lot of reading, but I want to actually see how to play the game. It's a, it's a text adventure, almost. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really, this isn't really, maybe I, maybe I didn't expect this kind of thing. 
But um, I do have a comatose ferret. I could speak to it. A weary roll of the eye. Play that eye roll says. Play. I played once in the happy warrens of London. Before you installed me in this floating coffin and maybe eat dried food. Damn your play. It is an eloquent eye roll. Hang on, hang on a moment. Just a second. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try to figure out what to do. X, press X. Oh look, that's okay. Click the launch button. Okay, we got launch. So now I'm discovered. 50 fragments gained. Bad St Stevener's Abyss. What's that? Oh, that's just light. Okay. November 30th, 1887. Discovered. Rowena's Rocks. Okay, so I'm discovering various locations. And I'm getting fragments as a result. Um, discovered Hunter's Keep. I see the fuel. The fuel is decreasing. Opportunities await you at the next port if there is a thing in your logbook. Okay. Creeping tendrils of fungus, seaweed, unnameable flora. We enter the snares. When you see green running lights on the ship, you're in the dark and your crew's terror will increase. Watch the pips on the terror indicator. It increases faster when you're far from land. Don't let it reach 100. I have a terror indicator. That's that sounds cool. Apparently you get to eat your crew members in this game. I like the sound of that. Bornvidus Pillar. You've encountered an opponent. The red arc shows your range of your deck gun. Keep the enemy in range while the crew works out a firing solution. This will happen faster if you keep the enemy in your prow light. The deck gun will be highlighted as your crew makes progress. can't even... I have to keep it in my range in order to attack. Oh, I took some pretty nasty damage there, huh? Oh, now you're just gonna get fucked. If you let it charge all the way, I think you have a better chance of hitting. I need what you have. Claiming your prize. Move. Loot and scuttle her. She's an 
vile old vessel, and these Zs aren't safe. Take what you can and move on. One fuel, two supplies, what are just generic supplies, and a cache of curiosities. A bolt of fabric. Looks like a key to me. Parabola is the serpent place behind mirrors. Someone made that up. In any case, where do they weave this sleek and ambery glittering cloth? You now have one bale of parabola linen. Seas. The open. Welcome to the open seas! Ekans Rock. Z bat. What the fuck is a Z bat? Reduces the terror rate. Oh wait, no, it increases the amount of terror that you face. I found something. There's I think there's a lighthouse here. Patrick's lot. Oh, the Z-Bat's a scout. It's an interesting game. I, I see definite potential here. There's like a risk-reward thing. Hunger is 20. Um, Tanachuk. What is Tanachuk? Oh my god, what is that? I don't like it. All back. All back. So here's this giant enemy crab. Dissect it. Or butcher it. Your pages qualify you for a... Uh, your pages quality gives you 75% chance of success. I'm gonna butcher it for supplies. Oh, I'm not hungry anymore. Delicious. Delicious crab meat. See, that solves a problem. So can I board? Like, can I get on... Can I do anything on these islands? I wonder. Terror is four. Vinny, your crew is starving. What? Nah, they're fine. I've got, um... Some five food. And they got hunger of 20. I don't know what that means, but they're fine. They'll make do. They'll eat a rat if they need to. They'll eat the ferret. If they need to eat the ferret, it's available. I, as captain, I give them permission to eat our mascot. Venturbite. Welcome to Venturbite. I think this is got a port. Yep, this is a port. Welcome to Vantabite here on the Great Z. Doc. When the hunger bar hits the middle, they eat a supply. If there's no supplies, then the cannibalism at the upper ends of the bar. The cannibalism starts, okay. So there's some shops here. 
Okay, I'm, I'm kind of getting this a little bit more. I'm, I'm... I like it. Chief Engineer Jordy LaForge. Um, advice for Captains. The Tomb Colony of Venderbite. On deck, you can hear the sound of a thousand bandaged dead make as they shuffle and cough. A dusty glass of wine. Um, Venderbite is not much. It's not the most promising place for shore leave. Too much decay, too little light, too many bandaged walking corpses. Few companions of easy virtue. No cinnamon, no recent newspapers. Very little pickle car uh, cave herring. That's locked, whatever option that is. Explore. Here they favor candlelight over gaslight. The shadows are swagged like cobwebs. The tomb colonists stand still enough to be mistaken for sculpture until they laugh or cough. One building in three seems abandoned. We're exploring. Again, fragments 15. Well, here's, here's, let's see what happens. Dead fir trees have carpeted a little park with the old brown needles. A little group of tomb colonists stands around another lying on a bench. Unexpectedly, you find yourself reminding, reminded of physicians and midwives at a birthing couch. The colonist on the bench, he's old, withered to sticks, groans horribly. Though the fir needles deaden the sound, something moves in his chest like a sea creature surfacing or a butterfly breaching a cocoon. The other colonists spot you and close ranks around him. Stay back, silkskin, one hisses. This is his breaking out. Your time will come. A kind of rapture in her voice. I have a tale of terror. So it's just, now I can tell that to people to scare the shit out of them. The first curator gives audience. First curator is responsible for preservation of the tomb colonies. It's been here much longer than London like the oldest tomb colonists, but even the tomb colonists dissolve in the end. No more light. The obsequious steward cautions you. The curator is terribly afraid of moths. He opens the door and you step into near darkness. A pair of luminous lamp lighter bees buzz in the latticed ivory tube. There is no other source of light. A bandaged shape, no larger than a child, lies crumpled on a couch. It lifts its head with obvious effort. It takes several seconds for you to distinguish its voice from the soft buzz of the bees. Mm, see, Captain. Silkskin. Not much left of me. I will go into the Grand Sanatorium. Bring me colors. Seven colors. Pay well. Cause Mogon, Irigo, Pelagin, Stuart has list. Find them here and there across the wide Black Z. Um, so if I get all these colors and give them to him, something happens, I guess. So I have, um, life damage, so I need to repair, can I even do that? Okay, I have echoes of the current currency of fallen London. How the fuck do you repair? I, I'm getting FTL vibes from this. Definitely. H how do you repair your hull, though? Food and supplies. You can only repair in London and a few other places. Okay. Vision of the surface. These are, like, stories? Recent news. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Tomb colonist. I can't buy tomb colonists. Oh, I have to sell them there if I have them. Okay. Um. Gee, 
Jeez, this game is there's a lot going on here. Um trade. I could buy this ship if I wanted to. Let's go back to London, I guess. Battle. I guess I could go to war with this whole town. This, this ship is slow. Don't forget the port report. What? London calling to the vengeance of death. <laughs> forget it, brother. Draw another breath. Hang on, uh, someone mentioned something. That's my Clash impression. Hope you enjoyed it. Gather gossip. Okay, a port report. Along the coast of the Untersee, remarkably hard to die. The decrepit and nearly dead who leave London become tomb colonists and settle here in bandaged peace. But they don't give up their ties to home or their politics. You gather a couple of complex clues, enough to keep your contacts in London interested. So I guess I could sell that in London. I can see the, the whole the, the text adventure with sailing in between angle that you guys were talking about. But I, I'm definitely, I can see myself enjoying this if I put some effort into it. Which I worry about because, you know, I'm, I'm live. Some people are expecting. I mean, think about it. We're going from this to Just Cause 3 in the span of like an hour. Think about the difference between those two games. It's, it's substantial. But anyway, yeah, I mean, if you like what you're seeing and you really want to get into this, I have two keys. I'll be giving away. Terror is increasing rapidly. My terror level is 8. When I turn the lights on... Um... Is it 9? What's going on here? False star flares. Is this... Is this London? I think we're gonna find out in a second. Yeah, we're back at London. How do you win a key? Well, after I'm done streaming this for today, if you're in the Twitch chat, you will have a chance to win the key. And I'll explain more when that happens. It's it's really simple. It's just a random name grabber. It'll It'll grab a random person from the chat that's interested and uh, you win I, I like this though now, I mean once I launched and I figured out what the game was all about some things are a little too illegal for custom service to admit the existence of the ministry are here looking for those Nothing to hide. You shrug and invite them to search your ship as thoroughly as they would like. They leave scuff marks on the newly scrubbed decks and take pleasure in tangling the rigging. They find nothing more dangerous than a moldy ship's biscuit. Collect messages from the harbor mastered. <laughs> mastered! Let's see. Another day, free evening. Something has changed. Someone wants to sign on. What the hell is this? A very fine evening to you, Captain. Uh, my, what you might mm, call mentor is very fond of adventurous sea captains, and he would like to offer you what you might call a dispensation. On account of he is so fond of sea captains, Behind the blind bruiser on the dock stands a dray piled high with fuel and supplies. 
Um, inquire further. Who is this patron? Is there a catch? Do I trust a blind, evil-looking man with a knife? Hmm. He runs a very fine and very liberal establishment just across the river. What is much patronized by sailors and men of wit and vinegar. Public house. Eh, there's no obligation to speak of. Uh, my patron would only hope that you might remember him kindly, and I suppose that if this opportunity should arise for you to return his kindness, then I do not imagine he would refuse your offer. It sounds too good to be true. But I'm going to take it. Well, uh, my patron hopes you find these little gifts to your liking. He expects that perhaps someday you might choose to call on him at the Medusa's head. Should that day come, we'll make you very welcome and give you any safe conduct what you might require. Good evening to you. I have suspicion. I now have ten fuel and supplies. It seems legit to me. Um... Deck gun, torpedo components, torpedo nets. Supplies, um, sell this fruit. Bale of parabola linen. I could sell this and make some money. I might do that. So how, how do I repair? Look at this thing. Possibly there's a reason you might want to set to Z in a boat the size of dining room table. Possibly. Oh, this is a poopy. That's a really shit garbage ship. Um, I'm gonna sell that thing I got. The linen. Go to the survey office. Um, what have the nearly dead been up to? So, I got one fuel, I got a favor, and I've got ten echo. Use the favor to repair your ship. So by going to that place, and I told them the news of the other port, they gave me some stuff. Higher authority. Once you've proven yourself, perhaps. Survey so three ports in return to win the, the approval. Okay. Read the morning papers. I've lost one terror. The echoes are... Um, ch -ch -ch. Fragments remain unchanged. You now have one of this recent news. Or you could click the London card back to the city, back to the rest of the city. Uh, consider retirement. <laughs> A 
London. Hire more crew. I want to hire more crew. A new recruit. Who awaits your attention? Someone wants to sign on. Um, oh, this is a lot of reading. There's a lot of stuff here. I know. This is... Again, this is not for everyone. If this isn't your thing, you might want to come back for Just Cause 3. Because this is definitely not a game for everyone. Captain, I know the way. Let me show you. The Exile of the First Officer incre increases mirrors and pages. Maybe's daughter. Woman purchase in the suitcase. She and the suitcase are noticeably cleaner. Hello, where are you headed on second thoughts? I don't mind. Can I come aboard? Yes, I'm an engineer. I'm an engineer in hurry. Okay. If anyone comes looking for me, well, I'm not accepting callers. Can I trust you to pass the, on that uh, that one? You don't want them distracting me from my duties. Seems um. Seems legit. Well, I got a new crew member, but. What? I thought I got a new crew member. Peruse the wolf stack docks. This will reduce your terror, but you might run into trouble of romance. And this is the repairs. Um, I have a favor. Bratis Faber Engineers? What the hell? Oh, what the fuck? I, I'm just trying to repair my goddamn ship, man. For free. I thought I had a favor for that. Well, let's reduce the terror. You've lost another day of free evening. Um, I have recent news. You were fortunate. You lost five terror. You lost ten echo. Oh, here she is, the chief engineer, okay. A smile, a wink, a butterfly tattoo, an intense and detailed knowledge of weaponry and engines. Veils plus six, iron plus three, engine power plus a hundred. Invite her to dine with you. <laughs> um, increase your veil, spend a secret to improve your veils. I don't know what veils means. Proposition, maybe his daughter. She has no interest in tediously sincere lovers. I could, uh, I could romance her. That face. Well, I guess we're gonna launch without repairs. I am Khaleesi, Dragonborn, Dragonborn, Hi Valeria, Targaryen, my name Khaleesi. It is known Khaleesi that you are the Dragonborn. If anyone here watches Game of Thrones, did you notice that Khaleesi is the only Targaryen that can withstand fire? George R. R. Martin later retconned that and said, Well, that's his voice. Well, you know, that was a once in a lifetime thing. That doesn't happen often. Fuck off! Get the fuck off! P 
Pages 25 failed in a challenge. Try again and you may have better luck. You haul it aboard and set to work with your knives and acids. It flops unexpectedly into life. Sailors rush to your aid with guns and boarding pikes. By the time they finish, you're unharmed, but there's not much left of the beast. You fucker. You absolute shit. I need to know what you're made of. Okay, I've dissected it. One of the rare deep sea crab species. Its eye is normally vestigial. In these troglodytic troglodytic beasts are large and rather beautiful. Golden glow is almost gone now, although sparks leap now and then to your knife. I've gained a fragment. Okay. I don't want to crash into the island. It's pretty fucking foggy down here. Is this a port? Yeah, I, it's too foggy to tell if there's a landing... landing strip. Yeah, there is. Okay, so I dock here. Drinks at the Cock and Magpie. That is filthy. Explore the shore a bit. You wander a little ways. Take a stroll. Driftwood. A smooth dark surface. Something glinting. Just a bottle glass. Stories about drowning pearls. They've never seen the inside of an oyster. Place one under your tongue. You can name the date of your own death. Don't place one under your tongue because there's transformed... They're, the transformed eyes of sailors lost at sea. Stories aside, they'll fetch a good price. A wretched mug. Chat to the fisherman. They sail around the sea. Um, and their nets. Pirates plying the waves, smugglers at their work. Kanate ships, whatever, putting in to resupply. Nothing dramatic, but enough interest to the admiralty. And I've got a port report. Okay. I'm starting to see how this game works more and more. And I, I do. I do like it. So, those are my accomplishments. I know something of the Antarctic. Let's go for drinks. I've got a terror. And I've got a 20 echo. Let's go. New total, 49... The trees of the Neath are scraggly and wretched, scraping a living with parasynthesis. The apples of Mutton Island are tart and powerful, perfect for the cider. Cider. The stuff is stronger than it looks. You stretch out in your seat, stares through the lidded window at your safely moored ship, and find yourself whistling. The landlord gives you a friendly grin. Goes back to wetting his cleaver. Oh boy, here I go sailing again. That was, yeah, that wasn't good. That was a lot of money I just spent on a, a terror. Little ships throng the water. The crew grows wistful. They swap old stories of the sunlit sea. We draw near to the Kamehan Canal. The way to the surface. Is this the canal? I 
think I want to quite go in there. But we're going deep south now. What is that, a jellyfish? That looks like the Enterprise, actually. Oh, it's it! Oh, oh god. See you later. No thanks. I'm out. I can kind of maneuver around it. If you let it touch you, it gives you a terror. Oh god. It's- it's hurting. Guys, it's hurting me. I'm- I'm dying. Squirtle. <laughs> ah! I can't take many more hits like that. I'm out. I gotta leave. Holy shit. I need to repair. There's no repairs. Um, listen for surface gossip. Moves in the great game. Playing a game or something. Um, gather information. There's a report. If anywhere between, besides London is safe and all the Unterzee, it's here. The surface nations have an interest in keeping the way open. Yeah, I think I have enough for repair, possibly now. Oh shit, what's going on here? There's another ship eyeing down my jellyfish. That's my jellyfish. Oh shit, they're, they're going for me now. It's a civilian- okay, that's a civilian ship, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. What did I think was gonna happen? I- I don't know. I didn't- I didn't know. I thought maybe if I just shot the thing one more time, I might kill it. That thing was fucking fast, though! Some really good range. Fucking jellyfish.
accept legacy. Don't really have much of a choice, huh? You were Crumble Bump's rival. 50% of their iron value in one weapon. Oh, I see. Okay, so I get to actually inherit some stuff. So you don't just lose everything. Um, I was his rival. Yes, I'd like to keep... Oh, I can keep an officer. <laughs> I can keep her if I want. Their chart? What? What's the chart? I don't understand. Take the chart. What does that do? Now the ferret is dead. I'm sorry, the ferret is just dead. That's the map. Oh, well, I, I want to go with the weapon. I think I want. I just want to see if I can do double weapon. Probably a mistake. I'm gonna try a new game. I won't play too long, but I am curious. Now that I kind of know how this works, let's let's see if we got anything else. I was a poet. Just Cause 3 will be up very shortly. I'll find my father's bones. Captain Squumpet. Mr. John Hoffman. Oh, I thought that was my crew member. <laughs> the whole big story here. Um, I, again, I'm just kind of going to go quick through this. The Labyrinth of Tigers. It's not lodgings. London. Okay. Just seeing what's different. Hire more crew. Who's this guy? I got a first officer. He's competent, probably. Trustworthy, possibly. Mirrors plus one. This guy seems like a useless twat. He's a navigator. What do you want? Uh, always had the desire to see Frost found. Oh shit, look, the ferret- <laughs> the ferret lives! Wait, uh, where, where's that other weapon? I want two weapons. I, I, oh man, really? I just get to keep the shitty basic weapon? I thought maybe I might have two guns because I inherited it from Crumple Pump. Or whatever his name was. Well, that sucks. Should have listened to the chat. I should have kept the butterfly girl. At least she cared. Alright, I'm just gonna go far to the right and just see what happens. Someone in chat just said, I didn't know Vinny's first mate was Bruno Mars. Hot damn. The 
terror is here. My bat found something. Discovered Station 3. Something awaits you in the port. Okay, let's go. Station 3, machinery, hums behind high steel walls, chain your telescope to the shore. You stand on a high point and look to the shore. There is a steepled building on the horizon, by far the largest thing in sight. No cross marks the top of it, nor any other symbols you recognize. So I've got the report. A tough challenge. 31% chance of success to know what's going on here. Um, try to pry open the gate. Mirrors 26 failed the challenge. Try again, you may have better luck. Let's try to pry open the gate. There's no way in. Perhaps you could bring the ship's guns to bear, but no. Okay, this place sucks. There's a new gun in Counter-Strike Global Offensive that is apparently like a god weapon. It's a pistol, it's a revolver that replaces the Deagle. And apparently, it, it is a one-hit kill with high accuracy while moving. One hit kill to the body, like one or two hit kills at most. I, <laughs> yeah, I've heard it's bullshit. I haven't played it. I plan on checking. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please don't kill me! Whoa! I'm out. Yeah, I'm right now I'm looking for Cthulhu. The madness is rising. I'm just kind of curious about what happens when you go out into like the deep sea. We don't have much food left. to the far southeast. I'm gonna pass on that for now. Hey guys, this looks like a good idea.
many have entered the maelstrom looking for supplies. <laughs> few, few have escaped. I am one of the few. I figured there might be some, like, you know, artificial crab meat in there. That's all I'm after, I just want artificial crab meat. There's a guy on Craigslist who wanted to have a J.O. session. I read about years ago. You know, not a personal thing, I wouldn't know personally. And he says he's got a lot of imitation crab meat in his fr freezer. And he's like, you know, have, have a J.O. and some crab meat. Clamor shouts, shooting. You can see that there's smoke rising from beyond the hill. Dots, fire flecking the horizon. Two tiny figures stand a little further down the quay, unmoving, as if awaiting your approach. Tale of Pigmoat Island, in which a delegation is made, a choice is presented, war is declared, most singular treasure is sought by all. New empires founded with tooth and claw. This is too much for me to read right now. This is a whole story. This whole island is a big story. I'm sorry, this is probably really good shit. I'm just not doing this right now. Yeah, the game, I'm sure, is not as good as, unless you're willing to read and really get into it. Unfortunately, I am a bit uh, of an asshole, and I lack the patience required. I'm kind of locked into this. Albino, I invited one of the Radis Faber to join us. Uh, okay. Your hunger quality has gone. Your mission has been founded. You now have a port report. What the fuck? Hey, I have a new crew member. Ah, oh, shit, that will replace this crew member, though. Alright, White Rat is new crew mascot. I don't give a shit. Yeah, again, I could see the story being really good, and it is to my eternal shame that I have no interest right now in, in reading all of that. Maybe on my own, I'd be more tempted to. I could see that being a lot of... Uh, a lot of good story stuff, but it's just it's a lot for me to read on stream. That, that was a real lot of story. Real, real lot. Real. For real. God, this place is... this game is pretty fucking huge, too. The map is really big. I helped some rats win a civil war. Is that what happened? One day, maybe I'll put in a full playthrough where I read everything. Rat barge. I mean you no harm, good good tonight. Wow, my ship fucking sucks compared to like every other ship.
I was hoping my characters would go mad. A fallen stone. Now and then rocky fragments fall from the roof of the Neath. The decks of older ships are pocketed with scars. The sound is one no landlubber knows. No sailor will ever forget. This one smashed the glass of a deck binacle. Ill omen, one sailor cries. The god in the roof, Storm, is angry. Do nothing, one of the three uh, nameless gods of the sea. An absurd superstition. Or make a sacrifice. I made a sacrifice. You mumble them, a gift of wine and fish is suitable, marked with the captain's blood. Bound with copper wire and cast overboard from the bow. A package bobs for the moment and then sucked beneath the ship. I now have the gods of the sea storm's attention. What? You fucking what game? My mascot is, is a little white mouse. The fuck is going on? Seem to be following something. Oh, look, it's death. Nope, leaving. Lick a monkey crag. That's good. Good name. Quality... Quality name. Okay. Okay, what's this? Oh no. Oh no, what is that? What is it? Bound shark. <laughs> I'm so fucking dead. You can't see me. You can't see me! Okay, so I know what I want to do. Oh god, another fucking jellyfish. Come on, this ship, save me. Save me from the jellyfish. Shoot it! Get its attention! Help! one fuel. I'm gonna go back to London. I'm gonna check London out and then save. Yeah, this is- this is a game- I- I can see a lot of people really enjoying this, like, you know, people that can really get into the story and put some effort into it. I like it. I actually really like it. And I'm sure there's a lot I have to learn about it, and I would like it a lot more if I did. So, again, if you're interested in winning a copy of this game, just a few minutes from now you will. You'll be able to. First, here's what you do. Alright. You have to go around Hyrule and bomb all the gossip stones. That's the first part. Then from there, you have to get to the top of the castle with Mario only. Find Luigi. L is real 2015.
Okay, after that, you have to engage in fellatio with a homeless person. That sounds- that's acceptable, right? For, like, a contest? Crap. 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 Also, if you want to win a copy of this game, you have to beat me in a one-on-one -on -one board game of Jumanji. The animals come to life, and they all have... they all have rabies. And the bears in Jumanji... They're actually not bears, they're just big hairy men. That are just looking at Perk. So, if that's- if that's acceptable, if these are acceptable conditions, then you can win this game. Oh, it's this guy again. I'm still gonna take it. Three. Uh, yes. Thank you, Captain. Canal. Pigmoat Island. I'm not certain I heard you correctly. You're quite certain that this is the report you wish to make? So be it. Yes, there were rats, and there was a civil war. I think. Do I have any favors? I need three. To repair my ship fully. Otherwise, it costs a lot of money. A JO crystal for some of that crab meat? Oh, alright, bruh. Yeah, I got you, bro. You want some- What's that? You want some imitation crab meat? Offer passage to tomb colonists. Oh, okay. A new recruit who awaits you. The genial magician. Good afternoon, Captain. Perhaps I can do your engine some good. No, I'm quite the engineer. Difficult to credit, isn't it? Here are my references. It's 50. He costs 50. The mechanic is 50. And... Um, what desperate desire has led this one to sign on? Who cares? They're very keen. Consequently, they're cheap. This will simply increase your crew by one. Oh, okay. So they're not like crew members. The genital magician. Hey! Whoa! Hey, what do you guys know about cock magic? I think maybe this is something for next time. Um... Manual save to switch to merciful. 
in unforgiving mode, it saves whenever you dock and whenever you die. No. 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 What? 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 What is this? Oh. Oh, it's a glitch. Um, it saved. Pretty good. I I'm actually kind of impressed. This game, it kind of won me over. Um, maybe not 100% my type of game, but definitely not this. <laughs> definitely not that. It was pretty good. And I, I thought maybe I could see myself really getting into it with a little bit more effort. I like, I like games like that. So, pretty good, pretty good. So why don't why don't we do this for anyone who is curious about this game on their own and they want to play it and they want to engage in reading a book in digital form? I'm going to give you the opportunity to win a copy courtesy of the developers. So. Give me just a second. Let me get all this set up. So here's how you do it. Uh, hang on. Let me enable JavaScript. Promotional copy. Here it is. Okay. Um, okay. Giveaways. Random active user. It means, okay, an active chatter is defined as a user who has spoken in the past 10 minutes. So if you want to win a copy of Sunless Sea, all you have to do is type in chat one time in the past 10 minutes. So I'll give everyone who wants to win a copy an opportunity to type in the chat just once. You don't need to do it multiple times. There, That does not increase your chances. Um, and then from there, I'll send you a message. Well, first I'll ask you on stream, do you want this game? If you don't want it, then you just let me know, and then I'll give uh, another person a chance to win it. So that's what we'll do. All you have to do is type in chat whether you want it or not. And if you want it, I will message you privately on Twitch, and it's yours. Okay, giveaway started and the winner is the first winner is heroes light heroes light congratulations do you want a copy of sunless sea will you actually play it i don't want to give it to people who might not play it i, I actually would prefer people who are like really interested in the game so just if you want it let me know and while that's happening Chrono Cross music. I'm in the mood for a little... I'm in the mood for a boogie. I love when Freddie Mercury says that when he's in, during the live shows. Who's ready for a boogie? He, yeah, why not, he says. All right, that's good enough. Not overly enthusiastic, but sure. Check your Twitch messages and it will be there. You can activate it on Steam. Okay, next, let's see, okay, the next winner is random active user, triple blinds, triple blinds, congratulations, do you want a copy of Sunless Sea? Just type in chat and your message will pop up on my end, hooray, TY. Cool. Do you, so that means yes. That's what. Okay. He he seems. Now this is enthusiasm. This is much more enthusiastic than why not. So cool. 
cool, cool. I'm, I'm glad that you're happy that you won. Enjoy it. It's pretty cool. I might revisit that one day. That's, that's something... Sometimes I'll play a game once and not revisit it, but the true mark of whether or not I like a game is if I play it a few times. Alright. Check your Twitch messages, triple, and you want a copy. Apologies to anyone else that didn't win. The odds weren't really particularly in, any, in anyone's favor, but, uh... Let's see. Again, there's a lot of people that keep messaging me, why am I banned? There was an incident where a fuckload of people got banned. It was, um... In relation to a shitter. So that's really all I can say about that for now. Um, people got banned. Alrighty. Okay, we're gonna play some Just Cause 3. And I'm gonna just take a few minutes, not even a few minutes, like, very, very quick BRB. Two minutes. And I'll get everything set up. And I will be right back with Just Cause 3 and we'll just mess around and do stupid shit in it. It should be fun. Maybe I'll do a story mission or two, but who cares about story and Just Cause? We'll just play the game. So, be right back, guys. <laughs> 